British aviation history has been made with the UK's first truly autonomous full-size helicopter completing its maiden flight, operating from pre-Danak airfield in Cornwall. Citing form the Royal Navy website, the helicopter has been designed and built by Leonardo as a demonstrator for the Royal Navy, to unlock the potential of uncrewed aerial systems, operating them side by side with crewed aircraft in a future, hybrid air wing, and potentially at the heart of future anti-submarine operations as part of the Atlantic Bastion strategy. Just weeks after completing comprehensive ground-running trials at Leonardo's Yeovil site, where the helicopter systems, sensors and engines were tested before Proteus lifted off the ground, engineers, technicians and representatives from Leonardo, the Royal Navy and UK Defence Innovation watched history in the making on the Lizard Peninsula. The successful flight delivers on key commitments in the Strategic Defence Review, which set out plans to create a new hybrid navy with autonomous helicopters like this demonstrator playing a central role in hybrid air wings and the Atlantic Bastion program to secure the North Atlantic. The Royal Navy operates several drones, including Malloy Octocopters and Peregrine, a scaled-down helicopter which conducts surveillance duties, but Proteus eclipses them in terms of size, complexity, and above all autonomy. Designed and manufactured at the home of British helicopters in Yeovil, the Proteus Technology Demonstrator is being developed by Leonardo under a £60 million program supporting 100 highly skilled British jobs and is believed to be one of the world's first full-sized autonomous helicopters. It has been designed to conduct a range of missions including anti-submarine warfare, patrolling the seas and drawing on information provided by a network of allied ships, helicopters, submarines and detection systems to hunt vessels beneath the waves.